Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about a short introduction of Eclampsia. This is the fourth video in the series of PIH in pregnancy. So the very basics, Eclampsia is a PIH plus seizures. And the reason for seizures should not be any organic disease. It is a severe form of PIH. Maternal mortality rates reaches up to 5 to 6 percent. There are some predicting signs when seen, we have to act very rapidly to prevent the eclampsia. These are epigastric pain, headache, visual symptoms, oliguria, all these signs are there. Now, why eclampsia happens? Our neural system is a unique system. It is stabilized with the proper concentration of electrolytes around the new, uh, neurons, around and inside the neurons. And for stabilizing this, we need more and more ATPs. ATPs are the cellular fuel. To generate proper amount of ATPs, we need constant oxygen and glucose supply, which is absolute necessary. If in case of PIH, we know that the blood volume decreases, there is a severe vasospasm and edema due to capillary leak. All this causes electrolyte imbalance due to reduced amount of ATP available to reduce amount of oxygen and fuel so because of this electrolyte imbalance there will be loss of control so the old neurons many neurons start acting abnormally and firing that's why the tonic clonic seizure happens in case in case of pre uh, eclampsia So here my bad uh, eclampsia can be of two types, three types, antepartum eclampsia, intrapartum eclampsia and postpartum eclampsia. Antepartum eclampsia is a common and severe form. How to manage the eclampsia we will do it on the management video. But at present you need to remember only these things. If you see these predicting signs are actually the signs of end organ damage. So whenever there is a other signs of end organ damage are there in case of preeclampsia, you should be very aware of eclampsia. Prevention and treatment will be discussed in the next video. Thank you.